My name is Christina Yu Yu. I'm the Matsutalo Shuliki Chair of Art of Asia at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. I was born and raised in Wuhan. It was heartbreaking to see my hometown devastated by the coronavirus. However, the city has recently emerged from the crisis and is on its way to recovery. The MFA keeps the arts alive through preserving and presenting treasures from all over the world, including the Chinese sculpture of Guan Yin, Bodhisattva of Compassion. I think you'll find peace, solace, and hope from it. Here's Nancy Berliner, Wu Tong Senior Curator of Chinese Art. Guan Yin is a Bodhisattva. Not a Buddha, but a Bodhisattva. A Buddha is a person who has cultivated themselves until they went to nirvana, until they became enlightened. A Bodhisattva is a being who could have gone to nirvana, but instead returned to be amongst mortals to help mortals become enlightened. Therefore, we think of Guan Yin as a very compassionate being who is focused on thinking about the suffering of others. The Song Dynasty was a time period of a lot of urbanization. The capital city at that time was the largest city in the world. It probably had a population of a million people. It was also a time when realism in China had really risen to a new peak. And so if we look at this Guan Yin, he looks so real and, and so much more human and humane than the other bodhisattvas and Buddha images that we have in the collection from earlier times. The pose of this Guan Yin is also something that makes it very attractive to viewers. It's a very casual pose. It's not a symmetrical, harsh, you, you must worship me type of pose. It's very welcoming and relaxed. In Chinese, it's called the pose of royal ease. One of the prerequisites of becoming a bodhisattva is that the person must in their last life have been born a prince. And so this type of pose is the way a prince would have been able to sit. There may be 10 pieces of this size uh, from this time period around the world. I have to say, I think this is the most beautiful one. Uh, I, I've looked at them all very carefully to do comparisons, and this is the one that really seems so compassionate. The facial expression is really unique.